Hello, my name is Saad Usmani. I am the chief of the myeloma service at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. And I'm here with blood cancer today. Uh, we are here in Chicago for the ASCO 2023 annual meeting. Uh, and we're going to be talking about uh, all the exciting data coming out in multiple myeloma. We cover the newly diagnosed setting, you know, some of the approaches to early as well as late relapses in the context of new novel immunotherapies, including bispecifics and CAR-Ts. Um, so I'm looking forward to having a wonderful, engaging conversation with my colleagues. I'll let them introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Elin. I'm from Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. Hi, I'm Shambhavi Richard. I'm from Mount Sinai, New York. Hello, I'm Meera Mohan. I'm from Medical College of Wisconsin. Talking about moving from induction with or without transplant to maintenance, um, are you guys using single agent maintenance or two drug maintenance? Yeah, for us, um, it's more patients who are standard risk. We are still very much doing LEN maintenance, but high risk patients, um, we're doing Valcate and LEN combination. Uh, we have largely started moving towards the doublet maintenance. Again, the compelling you know, evidence from Griffin and the really extraordinary MRD negativity rates that we are getting with all of that, even with standard risk or with the higher risk. So um, in general, my go-to is uh, Dara Len. Uh, if somebody is truly, you know, uh, standard risk, you know, became MRD negative right away, MRD negative post-transplant, you know, I might consider, again, um, doing a single. But I think for the majority, I generally use a doublet. So the first choice is usually a clinical trial. We have an IIT as well as a dramatic study. So we try to, you know, that's the first thing we offer to our patients. But otherwise, um, the patient's standard risk, um, lenalidomide alone, uh, even the DEX is kind of, you know, taken off. Um, we don't really do that much. Then. And otherwise, we try to do VRD, which is kind of modified, not like, you know, maybe a couple, uh, well, Kate, every couple of weeks or so. Okay. Yeah. So so clearly, you know, there, there is, you know, a move more towards more than one, you know, drug maintenance. Um, it looks like, you know, some centers are, are stratifying based on whether patients are standard or, or high risk to include proteasome inhibitors into that maintenance schema. And um, yeah, so I, I think that's consistent with what we're doing as well uh, for our standard risk patients at um, um, Sloan Kettering as well. Um, so with, with that in mind, you know, I want to ask you guys, you know, um, the landscape is changing for early relapse. Um, you know, we had the three drug combinations, you know, LEN-based combinations have become kind of obsolete because of the LEN usage. Um, then we have pomalidomide and carfilzomib-based, uh, you know, triplets. Um, and then we also have selinexor. So, you know, how are you determining, you know, what, what are the ways in which you determine which regimen to give patients if they're, you know, in their first relapse? Yeah, so, I mean, of course, always think about clinical trials first. Outside of clinical trial, for first relapse, um, we still look very much at uh, what the patient had for induction, um, how soon after, if the patient had transplant, how soon after transplant, whether the patient is still on maintenance or not when they relapsed, to kind of think about picking that second uh, regimen because we still have some options. And so often we'll go with something that, you know, still includes a PI image class, but next generation from what they've had. Um, and since we don't as commonly do DARA for maintenance, you know, unless they're like still MRD positive, you know, higher risk situations. So it's not like the patient had constant pressure of DARA. And so we do consider a DARA combination with the next generation of still the, the backbones. All right. Would you agree with that? Or? Yeah. Yeah. If they are, you know, standard trip, if a VRD triplet induction and a transplant, then I use DARA based, you know, either. DKD or DPD as my initial first relapse uh, kind of regimen. Uh, if, on the other hand, they've had the quad therapy initially, then I may pick something like KPD, just the, you know, the most potent uh, from each class, the CARF and the POM, or KCD. Mm -hmm. uh, and then if, uh, and then again, DVD, again, for if they haven't had DARA, DVD or DRD, depending on whether the LEN was a low-dose maintenance LEN or something like that. Um, 
And, uh, you know, but then now we are also having like these new clinical trials, which are getting to be very exciting, you, you know. So we've had the CAR-T trials with the um, patients with early relapse. So the cord B of the CAR-T2s, two twos, we had that. Um, we've had, uh, you know, the we all we also have the BMTCTN, which is for suboptimal response after the first. So, you know, we try to enroll people on these kinds of trials because we've had transplants now for 30 years, and I think it's time now to see if something else is a little bit better. So, no. So this is where things are getting exciting, right? Yeah. So earlier this year, we had the readout for the Karma three trial, and and Mira, maybe you know, you can talk a little bit about it because all these regimens that we're talking about. The triplets, you know, th there is, um, they are the ones being compared to some of the novel, you know, immune therapies that are coming, um, you know, down the pike. 